like to follow. It's absolutely perfect. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here tonight. In fact, I'm wondering myself what I'm doing here tonight. But I went to the movie, and I saw that movie, The Bucket List. Did you see The Bucket List? And there were two old codgers, Morgan Freeman and, and Nicholson. And there were, these two old codgers had decided that they had so many things they hadn't done when they were young that they wanted to do but didn't have the nerve to do. And so they decided they were going to do it. I started to think of my own mortality. If I had a bucket list, what would be high on the bucket list? I always wanted to be a stand-up comic. And of course, then I would have two problems. What would I use for material? And if I didn't do it soon, I wouldn't be able to stand up. <laughs> now, the other problem arose because if you're going to be a stand-up comic, you have to have material. And, and, uh, and so I thought, I, material, what material would I have? And, and then I thought, well, I never kept a diary, and, but I always wrote all the funny things that happened in my life. And actually, I thought, maybe subconsciously, I was thinking of my own mortality, because I never buy green bananas. The other, thing, the other thing is, I went to buy a mattress, and I hadn't bought one for 30 years. I couldn't believe the price of the mattress. And when he, when he told me, and I, I said, I'm shocked. And he said, well, you know they're guaranteed for 20 years. <laughs> and I said, do you have a cheaper model for five? <laughs> Please don't clap. It, it eats into my three minutes. <laughs> and... Uh, and when, 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 I'm, when I'm ordering anything over the phone, and then they say, what is your visa number? And I, get what, I give that. And then they say, what is your expiry date? And then I say, isn't that awful? I can expire before my card. You should hear the gasp at the other end. And they try to reassure me. <laughs> Bless their hearts. And as I never wrote a diary, but I wrote the funny things down, I'm just going to share two of them tonight with you. And this is absolutely true. A friend of mine, Richard Burgo, went to Saudi Arabia. He lived there two, 10 years. When he came back, somebody asked him to bring a vase with him, precious vase, even paid first class fare for him. And then he said to them, when I get to Montreal, how are they going to know me? And they said, don't worry about that. So when Richard got to Montreal, there was a woman standing in the airport with a big sign, looking for Canadian dick. <laughs> Absolutely true. And as, as, no, but as Dick tells it, four men got to her before he did. The other story that I like to tell, which is absolutely true, a friend of mine was in the hospital very, very sick. She'd had a major operation, and when I got to see her, she said, Jean, I've had the operation. It's very successful, but unless I can have a bowel movement or unless I can pass air, meaning farting, she said, she said, they're going... They're going to have to operate again. And I remembered a, a poem that I learned when I was in university 65 years ago. And the poem was, there was a young lady from Sparta who was an excellent farter. She could fart anything from God Save the King to Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. She could do her gravata with staccato, along with an English castrata. She could boom from her ass, box B minor mass, with a counterpoint from La Traviata. As we know, laughter is the best medicine, and you know what happened. She farted. And then we sang a chorus from Hallelujah. <laughs> but you know when you're older, and as the previous uh, uh, comedian mentioned, 
It's nice to be needed, and it's nice to feel that you can pass on some philosophy to a younger group like this. So I have this poem. When things go wrong, and they usually will, when the road ahead is all uphill, when your funds are low and your debt's high, you'd like to smile, but you can only cry. When you really feel it's time to quit, don't come to me because I don't give a shit. <laughs>